digging in the trash. Okay? If you keep digging in the trash, you're going to begin to smell and possibly look like trash. If you go play with the skunks, you're going to smell like a skunk. We develop bad habits of dealing with people, dealing with situations as well, but primarily people. And we have this idea that none of this affects us, that even if they're this way or whatever, that it doesn't have some type of bearing on who we are. But let's look at this. For those of you wanting a biblical standpoint as well, I've got that for you too. I got that for you too. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 33. It says, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Come back to your senses as you ought and stop sinning. For there are some who are ignorant of God. I say this to your shame. What more needs to be said? There's some people you just need to leave alone. That's it. People bring up the concept of Jesus sitting at the table with the sinners. Number one, that was Jesus. That's the first thing. That was Jesus. So I think we need to make that clarification. You're not Jesus. We may represent Jesus. But I think there's also an element of spiritual maturity. Do you possess the amount of spiritual maturity to handle people with bad character, to handle people with bad manners, bad whatever it is that could potentially rub off on you, that could potentially, potentially make you stink? Again, don't be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. It's right there in the word. Honestly, I think it's a universal principle. If you look back, if you talk to some of the older folks, they're going to say the same thing. Birds of a feather flock together, things like that. After a while, your name gets called up. Your reputation gets called up. And then people are looking at you sideways because of what somebody else brought you into. Bad company corrupts good character. Take it to heart. That's all I got to say.